Welcome everyone to the first episode of my progression on DSS3. Now today we're on a new account as you can see right here I have 0.1 nautical miles. I'm not sure how I got 0.1 but I guess that's what I start off with. So we're in a new account and this is where I am right now. So uh, this was suggested by developed soul in my discord and during a stream. Uh, this was a great idea. He was saying kind of like the Phantom Forces progression, but do it in DSS. So I was thinking, I'm going to start by going Fishing Cutter to the next level. So each time I get to a new ship, that will be one video. So you guys can kind of see how I do it, kind of to go along with my tutorial videos. So if you guys are interested on the tutorial videos, you'll get a kind of a basic outline of what I'm doing. Uh, go check that video, those videos out. I'll leave a card up above so click on that and you guys can go check it out if you are new to dss3 or newer so it's really for anybody even if you're not new so go check it out it will help and we're gonna start doing this all right so for any new player that's coming in here as you can see you got your credits you got your nautical miles how far you've traveled you got your quests and these just are quests you can complete to get some money um i usually don't do these to try to get money uh now you can but i just don't Got leaderboard, store, customization, where you can customize your character. And if I go into customization, my ships, you could see you start out with the fishing cutter and the coast guard patrol boat. So we're going to start off by using the fishing cutter to start getting some money. So I'm going to go and head into spawn and I'm going to go look for the best place to go here. All right, so the first place I'm going to spawn in at is Hobbeline Sea. This is where the probably one of the best fishing spots is. There's multiple others, but if I go into the map, as you can see right here, there's, like, fishing area right there, and this this one's pretty close, as that's where I spawn. You can also, like, go here, then go down here through there, because this is just a bridge right here, as I was told during my um, other videos. So, yeah, you could do that. You could also go fishing port here, go around here, fishing port here, go down here. And there's multiple other ones you could do as well, like fishing port here, go there. But I'm pretty sure that this is one of the closest ones other than this one right up here. So I'm going to start right here and head out to that fishing port. I'm going to mark it on my map and we're going to go there. So as you can see, it's 1.2 nautical miles, so that's not too far away. All right, so as you can see right here, I am now inside of the fishing area. So I'm going to start collecting my fish. I'm going to probably slow down to about... Okay, I have to actually be like about net is being deployed oh i just pulled it back in what must be okay so i have to be at least eight so i usually go around eight um so that i can at least go across it and i don't like you know like run out of area like i'm going too fast so i'll probably just sit here and get up to 100 percent, and then i'll head back and sell it and then i start just doing that multiple times to get to the fishing trawler so that's the first ship we're going to be going for is the fishing trawler all right, so right here, I'm just turning around since I'm about 54%, and then I start heading back towards where I'm going so that I save, like, time, and I'm not, like, going all the way across to get 100 and then coming all the way back to get 100 across the fishing area. So that's what I like to do is, like, kind of, you see how I'm halfway now, and I'm at, like, 50. So then I start heading this way, and I have about 100% once I go back to the fishing port. So that's how I'll do that. Oh, that's my best suggestion for that, and I also like looking at it down here, so that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I really like this idea. I'm very excited for this. Uh, this is going to be a pretty awesome series. It might take some time to build up, but it's going to be fun because you guys can see how I make my money and how long it would take, that type of thing. So I will be doing, like, cuts and everything, but I can try telling you guys how long it takes. All right, so as you can see, I got 94% of the net uh, caught, but I probably could have gone a little bit farther to get more, but... 94% is very close to 100, so that's that's kind of how I would do it. it I'm fine with how, however much I get, kind of like that. And I'm also going to try joining a fleet, if there's any. Oh, yes, they do have one. Cool. I'm going to see if I can get in it. I would like to get in it. That would be nice. Okay, I'm in it now. So as you can see, if you find, like, a bigger server like I'm in right now, you could join the fleet. I totally forgot about that for a second. But I'll start earning money from how much they make, so that would be pretty awesome. So, that will be pretty cool. Hopefully, they are, like... Get, that one looks like he's getting close. Uh, they look like they're going across. So, as we are... As we're grinding for money here with our fishing cutter, we'll earn money from them 
dropping off their shipments and they'll also earn money from us dropping off our shipments so it's pretty cool how that works i like the idea of the fleet it helps a lot to make money so i just suggest you kind of look for one of these servers and if you don't have one just kind of like rejoin a new server so now we're back and we're just going to go into here where the yellow fish area is then we can sell it there just see right here it's yellow yellow so just match it up and you can sell it those seagulls are pretty loud, um, but we're just going to come right in here and sell the fish for, as you can see, if I got a full load, I would have gotten 2,000 credits, but I'm pretty close to that. So now I have around 5k credits, and I forgot how much the fishing trawler was. I think it's 25k. All right, as you can see right here, normally Nonchalant is right here. He's coming right in, and it looks like he's going to the container T, which is good, meaning we're probably about to get some money from him going there. So now we're actually... At Yep, see, we just got almost a 1,000 credits from him making money. This is why this works so well. If you have enough, now we're almost at 6K, and we just earn, like, half of the amount we make by going back and forth. So these guys going across, like, you can see they're going across, and they're moving on the screen. As they go back and forth, we're going to earn money as we keep going. So we just keep building it up and building it up, and that just works really well. All right, something I would like to point out is right up here, as you guys can see in the top corner, under my name, it says Current Session. And you, as you guys can see, it's taking about... 30 minutes. I spent about 5 minutes in the beginning doing like the intro and redoing it for a second. Uh, so probably more around 30 minutes is my current session. And I've traveled about 7 nautical miles and I have about 10k credits. So I'm going to say this is got, not going to take no longer than an hour and a half. So just you spend about an hour to an hour and a half in this game with the fishing cutter and you'll be at the next um, level ship. So... I know that's a little bit of time, but this game really takes a lot of, like, grinding, so you just gotta work at it and keep going. Another tip I have is do not upgrade these ships uh, that just give you credits per delivery. Um, they don't give you many credits, uh, but, like, if you get, like, a light container ship or, like, those big ships, and they have, like, credits per nautical mile, buy those and upgrade those, because what that allows you to do is make more money as you're going further so the further you go the more you make but with these the further i go the same amount i'm gonna make because i'm only gonna make 2k every single delivery like no more than that so that's why those container ships are a lot better it's paying for how far you go not just one delivery they just pay you a specific amount and as right oh wow 1500 credits that is a lot that is what i'm talking about now we're at 11 11k and I'm about to deliver a 2,000 credits thing, so we're about to be at almost 13,000 credits, which is awesome. And if I'm looking at this right, if I go over here, this guy is delivering a shipment, and this guy is also delivering a shipment, and they're both in our group, and I believe this one is as well. Uh, so we have multiple people who are actually delivering... Oh, and there you go. Normally, Nonchalant has delivered it, and we got another 1,000 credits, so now we're at 14,000 credits. And, like, if we do two more deliveries, these guys are most likely going to be all the way back across with another delivery. So, this should take only about 20 more minutes, and we should actually be there. I have, I have almost no doubt that that will be maybe another 20 minutes, maybe 30, but either way. And you also do have to spend some money on the refueling, but... You can usually earn that back pretty quickly. Once you get bigger ships, you're not going to have a problem. Oh, wow, I'm sinking. How in the world did I do that? Okay, only 40% damage. That's all right. Okay, so I have just... I had to take a break, and I'm back now in a server. So I just started again. As you guys can see, it's like my current session. Just started again. So in the end, we'll take a total of both times. And you guys will be able to see how much time I actually spent trying to get 24 thousand credits now i'm gonna be going a little bit slower now because of the fact that i've joined a smaller server hopefully people want to join but i just created my own server called money i could also name it like just whatever and people will hopefully ask to join and help make money so that would be good all i do have to do is deliver three more shipments so i am almost there all right everyone we are now super close to 24,000 credits to end off this first episode and to get the fishing trawler. So 
We're about to sell this, and then we're going to go buy the fishing trawler. And that will be the end of the episode. So I would like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate everybody who's come to watch through this video. And I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure you leave a like and subscribe. And turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video. And you know what? I think it's time we go buy the fishing trawler. I don't want to crash. And here we'll click on customize and we're gonna go to my ships and then we're gonna go over to the fishing trawler as you can see right here now you can also get the the shrimp trawler if you want to but personally i like to do the jump from the fishing cutter straight to the fishing trawler because it's just a lot easier to do that than m most other things i would say so but you can also get multiple other ships so we're gonna buy it right here and that is the fishing trawler Personally, I'm not a fan of the shrimp trawler because this one, just look at it. They go the same speed without upgraded, and this one earns you more. So it's better to just go straight from the fishing cutter to the fishing trawler, and that's what I would suggest. Uh, we might actually have enough money. No, I don't want to rename it. I wanna... Okay, I don't have enough money to upgrade, but we're not going to upgrade this one, actually, because that's not really worth it. So the next one we'll be heading towards, you guys will find out in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next DSS-3 progression video.